This morning I took uh, Uber from Colombo down to Gale just to spend a few hours here and yep I thought why not uh, film a video at the same time and bring you all along. Actually I have been here before, I've been to Sri Lanka before but that was around uh, four years ago back in 2017 and it was actually I think the third video I've ever posted on YouTube and it's hard to believe that it's been almost uh, seven years <laughs> since then um, so yeah it's great to be back I love Sri Lanka and uh, yeah a lot has changed also since then so it's nice to reflect on that so it is now lunchtime and I've made it to a place called Coconut Sambo and here they have an all-you-can-eat uh, buffet which is 2350 um, Sri Lankan uh, per person and yeah they have a wide variety uh, and also made in the traditional way in the clay pots and you have the rice the mango curry uh, some other uh, cauliflower and long bean and also some dal as well so yeah it looks really nice and so let's dig in and then we also have a ginger beer you can see behind me here is the Galde Lighthouse which is the oldest lighthouse in Sri Lanka and it was built, uh, and it was built by uh, the British colonialists back in 1848 and yeah it's now also become a landmark of the city but also of Sri Lanka and yeah really beautiful and now from this point we can also continue to walk all around the Galle Fort walls so yeah let's continue Come here. built back in 1588 by the Portuguese and then it was fortified by the Dutch and then later on colonized by the British so also this town has a lot of uh, influences from uh, European architecture and also it's a UNESCO World Heritage Site so luckily this uh, beautiful town has been very well preserved on the fortified wall and also it's right now end of April but it's super super hot and uh, humid so just be aware of that and drink a lot of water and sunscreen and I should have brought my umbrella to kind of shade myself from the sun but also now we can see the main clock tower which is behind me here and yeah it also seems to be not functioning so it's not telling the right time Coastlines, and yeah, this is just a perfect place to spend a relaxing day and walk around. Uh, it's so so nice, and yeah, so so beautiful. Colombo after a uh, 
very nice day in Gao and yeah as I mentioned before I took the uber option that is available here in Sri Lanka called intercity where you yeah when you book you they pick you up directly and then you choose um, where you want to go and then what time you want to come back and actually uh, it is quite reasonable the price you know thinking that they take you there and back and it's you know two hours each way and they wait for you <laughs> well today uh, I was there for four hours and then yeah bring you back um, and yeah if you're short on time it is a very good option of course there are the trains going and buses um, and if I'd had more time I would have definitely taken that because uh, public transport in Sri Lanka is very very affordable but for today when I had a very limited amount of time um, it was a very good option so I can recommend that if you're needing to do some intercity travel within Sri Lanka and yes as you can see I made it back to Colombo the skies are getting very black right now uh, I think a thunderstorm is pulling into the city and yes to the day after tomorrow I head to a new country which I'm very excited to bring you along for um, I hope you've had enjoyed just hanging out with me today here in Sri Lanka even though it was quite short I will promise you that the next video will be longer but for now uh, thank you so much for watching remember to like and subscribe and I will see you in the next country bye